All right, guys. So here we have the Dark Audio Industries NKO8 400 RMS dual four ohm version. Uh, 15 pound sub, 16 pound gross box weight. This is one. I got two of these. Company's going out of business, so I figured I'd make an unboxing video for everyone to see what they look like before they get them, or if they decide to order them. For forty dollars. This is a pretty nice subwoofer, honestly. I wish I had ordered more of these 8s uh, instead of 12s, just because of how nice the 8 turned out. So, here we have the little 8 inch speaker. And the noise y'all hear, uh, Maggie's sublamination printer is going, so she's going to be making some t-shirts. So 140 ounce magnet, I do believe, on this one. There's a pressed paper cone. Sewn. It's got sewn intensive leads. Really nice quality, honestly. It's got... Um, black coated coils. Uh, I'm not sure if they're aluminum or copper on these. Probably aluminum. These are uh, stamped steel baskets. So not the prettiest basket, but they they do the trick. Good venting on the sides. I like seeing that, especially with eights. I believe the eight is a two inch voice coil compared to the twelve, which is a three inch voice coil. Okay, so it is a two inch black ceramic coated copper voice coil. The uh, NK, NK012 is three inch ceramic, black ceramic coated copper coil. It's got eight gauge terminals, push style terminals, good quality. Um, nice pole venting. I don't know if I can get the, I can't get the boot off, but imagine some, feels like it might be a double stack, I'm not sure. Read off some specs for y'all. I don't know why my camera's not focusing very well. There we go. All right. So we've got the NKO series, our underrated 400 RMS for the NKO 8. Feature a two inch black ceramic coated copper voice coil. Power from the amplifiers ran through the eight gauge spring loaded push terminals into oversized round uh, tinsel leads that are sewn to dual Nomex spider system to ensure they stay in place and do not touch the cone during travel. The dual Nomex spiders are then glued to each other, um, each side of the spider to guarantee that the voice coil liner throughout excursion. Uh, we use additional epoxy. Also, bolts for the spider assembly and basket will not break or come loose during extensive play. The FEA optimized motor uh, assembly has three different points of cooling to allow ample airflow to the voice coil. So you have a black stamped steel frame, sewn tinsel leads, high efficiency FEA optimized motor, 100 ounce Y35 on the 8. Um, eight. 8 gauge terminals, non-press uh, non paper cone, 2 layer Nomex spider, strong ABS plastic spider spacer, ultra high temp ceramic coated 2 inch 4 layer voice coil, 35 millimeter coil wind height. So yeah, there we go. And here is some of the specs for y'all. So the dual two, they don't have any of the specs. I don't believe they actually have the dual two in this, but they do have the dual four ohm. So here's your SPL, your CMS, MMS, QES, QTS, QMS, VOS, FS, BL, and XMAX. And you can see they went on sale. So that's a little bit about the sub guys just in case the website does go down for permanent people still have a reference to the spec sheet 
So thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. I know the quality is not good. I don't know what's going on with this camera on this phone, but I'll get it fixed soon.